Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at another free mod that I've just been made aware is available by Brian, that's Daredevil314. It is a helicopter. It's an AH6J. It's the little bird, and I'm sure you all know what the little bird is. I remember it in Red Carnation from the A-Team, uh, the AT series. So we're going to show how to install it, how to set it up, and just very roughly how to use it and the reason why I think this is important although most of you are going to prefer your Raphaels and your F22s and your F35s in terms of free mods this is really important because as far as I understand I don't think you need to purchase a helicopter module for this to work I may be wrong there but as far as I can see so it, we can use this as a great stepping stone to get people into helicopters in DCS world and there just aren't that many people into helicopters and the helicopters in DCS world are absolutely top notch so I think it's a really important module this is a work in progress it's absolutely not finished but you can tell that if they carry on with it I think it's going to be really good so that is a link there and of course I'll put that in the video description let's go and download that so this takes you to the usual ED forum on it here it is and we can talk about it here what's working so far and what's not working uh, let's go to full mod link there I'm going to click on there uh, that's the mod there a zip file I can go to download there your windows may be slightly different but you know just download it and then download anyway okay I've already done it so I'm not going to do it now but I'm going to go and find it on my hard drive from last time I downloaded it we can get rid of all this stuff now so I'm going to go and find it in my C drive users me downloads and there it is a h6j zip i'm going to go in there and that is the actual mod folder i'm going to right click on that i'm going to do copy next i've got to find my saved games folder this is where dcs keeps its various modifications and user settings for the vast majority of you it will be on c drive users your user there can be several users but your user and save games there now I actually moved mine because I ran out of disk space on my C drive so mine's moved and I'll show you where I've put it I've also got a video of how to show how to move your save games if you want to I'm going to go to I think it's Steam I've got it on here uh, I've got my save games there in your save games you'll see DCS and or DCS open beta various versions I'm going to go into there and then you're going to see mods and if you don't see a folder called mods make sure you make one and call it exactly as I've got there in there you'll see aircraft if you don't have aircraft make it exactly as you've got there and then I'm going to paste it in there and you can see right click paste and you can see I've already got it in there that's it simple as you have to do it then I'm going to go and start up DCS stand by I'm going to go to mission editor I'm going to load up a mission I've already made okay I'm going to create a helicopter group there I'm going to stick it on the runway there I'm going to make it an AH6J there. I'm going to make it a client so I can fly it. I'm going to put it taking off from the ground hot. You can do a cold start. There is a cold start clickable cockpit procedure, but I haven't bothered learning what it is. So you can go off and do that if you want. Take off from the ground hot. We can put some wet weps on if we want. I'm going to go for the miniguns on the inner pylons, rockets on the outer pylons. These are the weapons that we have at the moment. Uh, okay, save that. And let's go in. Okay, blue AH6J. Lovely picture there. Such a legendary little chopper this is. So first thing we're going to do is just look at our controls that we need to set up. So escape, uh, adjust controls. First we'll go to axis controls. Things you'll need are uh, one annoying thing, and I'm sure this will get fixed, is zoom view it does not have an axis command uh, bindable to it at the moment. So zooming in and out, which you need for any plane, is really well difficult at the moment, but I'm sure they'll fix that. Right, we will need roll cyclic, so that's left to right stick you'll need to bind, pitch cyclic, that's stick forwards and backwards you'll need to bind, pedals uh, like a rudder in a plane, uh, it's not called a rudder in this type of aircraft, but it has the same type of your function. You'll need your pedals or whatever, and I've just found out why my pedals aren't working properly now. You can see that's full right pedal for me, that's full left pedal for me, So, and I've got pro pedals, if anyone knows how to fix that, that would be lovely, but... That's why I always struggle on my takeoffs now. Collective is a bit a bit like the throttle in an aircraft. Not that's not quite true, but you will need that there. Throttle you can have bounders if you want, but I haven't need to, I found a need to bound it in this helicopter yet. Uh, so throttle stick. And then under your kind of more normal controls, we're going to go to all. And what we're going to need to fire the gun, thus to fire the rocket, thus to zoom in and out. We're going to have zoom in slow 
zoom in, uh, zoom out, slow. And that's all I've got at the moment. There are other ones you can have, but just to do the absolute basics. Let's have a quick look around the helicopter. So we'll zoom in. So you can see it's all modelled here with a proper cockpit, but they haven't done the textures yet. So once the textures are done, I think this will look pretty sweet. You know, the polygon count is actually fairly high. And the, and the lighting needs doing as well. This flight instrument panel here is fully interactive, so you can turn the knobs to adjust whatever that was, and you can adjust the QNH, QFE there, all the kind of stuff you're used to. You've also got various buttons here, you've got master arm, rocket controls, jetson, gun and rocket controls, various switches here. In fact, I thought these were all clickable, but they're not. Only a couple of them are clickable. So what we've got are the ones are to control the weapons, and one's needed, I believe, for the cold start. We've got also a bunch of engine instruments here. Some of them work, some of them don't work, as far as I'm aware. As far as I'm aware, again, nothing on this lower console works in terms of interactivity. You can't click any of this stuff yet. I imagine it will be stuff that will... Oh, look at those circuit breakers that will be clickable at some point. So, early access, obviously. The stick and the rudder and everything looks very simple at the moment. So I'm going to turn my rockets on to left and right. I'm going to turn my gun on to left and right. I'm going to make sure my master arm's on. And that will do for me. The aiming reticle is a dot on the windscreen. So that's how kind of simple we got. And fire the guns. Get some baby. Fire the rockets. Okay. And the cool thing about this is it's going to be a test bed for us to learn how to fly a helicopter. Annoyingly, I can't show my controls like I usually can. I don't seem to have that option in this module at the moment. But we take off so collective up the throttle will leave as it is we'll rudder in to neutralize the yaw start the cyclic we can learn to fly a helicopter and you'll probably learn that it's really good fun now in terms of how this handles i'm just gonna i can't talk i'm getting too old to talk and fly at the same time handles i actually really like the flight model it feels somewhere between the huey and the gazelle so it's got the awesome feel that the huey's got and that's great it's great that they've made it a really good feeling which for me is the most important thing and it's got a bit of the twitchiness of the gazelle it's not as twitchy as the gazelle the gazelle is for me so twitchy it's just i don't enjoy flying it personally this is twitchy as well but not as twitchy so I've doled down all my controls using the usual method of adding curves in my adjust controls axis tune area. It's still flyable, but it is twitching. It takes a while, a little while to get used to. But the main important thing is it just feels great. Uh, I don't think it's got a damage model yet, or, or very simple damage model as far as I'm aware. Does it fly realistically to the actual little bird? I would guess probably not. I don't know. I'm just having a guess because it's a you know non-official module at the end of the day. Get some. But it is definitely, it is definitely a, a bespoke handling. Um, what am I trying to say? It's definitely a bespoke flight model. It's not just copied from another helicopter because it doesn't feel anything like any of the currently existing four helicopters in terms of its uh, maneuver and its speed and, and what we're not. So they've not just copied, as far as I can see, a Huey flight model. Get some. <laughs> and it is basically as fun as it looks. Weapons don't seem to do any damage for some reason. It may just be that I set the mission up wrong, but... That's it, really. I don't want to go too deep into it, and I don't want to go and see which instruments work. I'm just not that interested at the moment. But what I'm going to say, it is a cool, exciting module. It feels good. Like I said, that's probably the most important thing for me at the time. I think it's going to look great when it's got the lighting and textures done. However, they're going to do that. I think that there is going to look really top-notch, personally. It's super, 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 super simple, which is me all over. I'm not a KF50 guy. I'm not an A10C guy. I like simple click and fire i just think that's the most enjoyable thing you can do and that's exactly what this copter's got and like i said it feels good that's all i want to say i'm testing us on the latest open beta 26th of june 2020 i can't promise it'll work on any other version because i haven't tested it i hope you enjoyed that and see you later